The parking lot is jammed. This is the first nice Sunday we've had in a couple of weeks, so that's why. And look at that. That motorcycle Batman thinger. Hope you don't find any big treasure, because you can't take it home. Where did I park? Yeah, as you can see, this place gets pretty crowded. During the summer, it's even worse. There's a line to get in and a line to go home. When I got here, there was no one on this side, so. Busy, busy. Why would you throw that out? That is. Oh, the zipper's busted. Teddy Rock Spin. Patterson Kelly Company. Alaska. <laughs> it's a little coin purse. That's cute. Oscar Wiener was like, these are neat. These are tiki. These are neat. It's our shame, they're all glued in. Dollar an item, everything has to go. Ingersoll, Hamburg, New Jersey. Look how cute. Awesome shorts. Dollar an item, whatever's left, everything has to go today. Postcards. I think these are at the one local auction house, actually. Dollar an item, whatever's left, everything has to go. I couldn't buy those Victorian die cuts because they're all glued. came from an auction. Oh, 
Does it say sterling silver? Yeah, they're all marked. So, today's flea market day was pretty good. I wasn't planning on going to the flea market. I went away the day prior, so I was up early. So I wanted to sleep just a little bit because during the week I wake up around 4.30 to get ready to go to work. So I do like to sleep in a little bit, but I woke up a little bit after six and thought, I will go because you can't find treasure if you don't get out there and look. The market was packed. There were a good number of vendors. You know, it's kind of like back to normal, back in the swing of things. With the rain that we've been having here, and it's usually on a Sunday, vendors don't come out. So it was nice to see, you know, the market back in full effect, everyone out there searching for things. I, let's see. I was actually given some items by one of the viewers. Um, his name is Gary, and he also is a vendor at the flea market. I actually purchased the tins from him, the, the George Washington tin, the, the bug powder tin, the really nice asparagus tin. So he had some photos that he gave me, so that was really nice and appreciated. And they're, they're pretty neat. I love the outfits. This one, 1970. It is Scotty's Fashion in Kriegsville, Pennsylvania. Let's see. Up here, we'll get this figured out. So, you know, this is a company company photo shoot. Everyone line up in your best dress. But I like to go to work dressed like that. That seems like that'd be very comfortable. There's only a couple of men in the front. On the back is actually everyone's name. Let's see if I know anyone. That'd be funny if I did. So I'm going to have to do a little investigating to find out more about Scotty's fashion. I wonder if they made the clothing that these people are wearing. But, you know, some a lot of the ladies are in dresses, some are in slacks. I think as long as you have a good work ethic and you show up to work and you're on time and you get your work done, you know, what you wear is maybe, a, a, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. This one doesn't have a name for the company on it but <laughs> this one lady she probably heard it was going to be you know um, company photo day and she went all out <laughs> look at this lady right here look at her hat she's like you know what they're gonna see me in this photo <laughs> it must have been chilly that day because they're all wearing jackets and some of them do not look so happy. The ladies have great glasses, a lot of the cat eye glasses. And even their jackets are very nice. I don't think they do company photo shoots like this anymore. And then this one is from Peerless Mill, We Heighten, Pennsylvania, July 1957. And there's only one man. Oh, no, three. There's three men. The rest are all women. Oh, some of their dresses. They look like, some of these ladies look like, you know, they had fun at work. And that was a good place to work. Let's see. I'm still trying to figure out this, showing the, the photos. That's pretty neat. So, thank you again, Gary. It's much appreciated. And... I'll have to add these to my never-ending to-do list to research and look up. I think that was all the paper I, I bought, well, I didn't buy, that I was given today. I did, there was one table that had the Victorian die cuts. The man wanted $50 for the whole pile, which was a, a good price. The graphics were great. The problem was they were all glued on there. 
And, and when they're like that, you know, for me, if I were just to keep them and add them to a collection, it wouldn't be bad. But if I wanted to sell them, that's going to be hard because, you know, you could sell by the whole sheet, which I just thought of that now. But still, um, yeah, it's just why they have to glue everything. And then he actually had photos. He had CDVs, which I think he purchased from an auction that I was going to go to a couple weeks ago, but couldn't. Oh, geez. Because of work. So I wonder what price he got because I'm pretty sure those are from that auction. So what did I purchase today? Somewhat of a mixture of things. I did buy these two skull items. They have holes in the sides. So I'm thinking that these would be good for any jewelry makers. You know, Halloween, people are into this kind of thing. So got those. I bought these. They look like the Easter Island tiki kind of faces and they're little forks so they're for hors d'oeuvres I would think. Let's see. Those are neat. The guy that I purchased these from I actually bought the pins from him too. He said that he was cleaning out his grandmother's house. So, I must have a lot of cleaning out to do. What else did I buy then? I did buy some tea mugs. The reason that I bought these, well, there's three different reasons. I, first, I guess, is one, you can never have enough. You can't have enough, um, you know, mugs. And for some reason, tea just seems to taste better out of these kind of nice, thick, heavy mugs, uh, you know, or cups. These were from, you know, these were used in diners, hotels and things like that. This one was used in the Trenton Hotel. So now I wanna look this up and see, you know, was the Trenton Hotel in Trenton or was it somewhere else? The guy, he wanted for both crates, he said he would give them to me for $10. I know some of you, oh, that was such a good deal. And honestly, that would have been a good deal, but I can't use all of that. There, there's no way I can use that. Um, you know, if, if you were setting up some kind of, you know, those would have been awesome if you had maybe uh, a vintage bridal shower, put those out. You can even have used those maybe for, um, like, I don't want to say, not a souvenir at a bridal shower. <laughs> But like this little thing, or at a wedding, I don't know, fill it with those mints and here you go, you have a vintage tea, a teacup. So this one, I'm gonna keep all of them, but I just, I bought this for the Trenton on the bottom. This one is the same pattern, but it's a different maker. I like the, the emblem, it's the Trenton Blake China Company, Ravenswood, West Virginia. So look how cool that mark is. I like that mark. That would need to put on a shirt. And then this I bought, it's Syracuse, China. I somehow am getting a small uh, collection of little bowls. I find that they're great to put your little things in on display. Another collection, because why not? And speaking of bowls, at... Um, yeah, I guess we can go with this. So there's one guy there that I, he has great stuff. And I don't know if he does clean outs or what he does, but he always has, you know, a nice mixture of things and his prices are really good. And I was worried that he had already set up and all the good stuff was gone. But he was just setting up as I got there. And he's the kind that, as he's setting up, I always feel sometimes leery to dig through the totes. You know, I know as a picker you're supposed to, but I like to be you know, courteous. I don't want to get in their way as they're putting their inventory out. I want them, you know, to be able to move around because you know, you're trying to get stuff out so people can buy it. You don't need someone in the way as you're trying to put things out. But, you know, he's like, oh, dig through the boxes, you know, do whatever you want, don't mind me. So that was very nice of him. So from him, I purchased some neat items. An another little bowl. He actually said that he dug this up out of some pit, but I like the the color, you know, it has some chipping. There's no mark on the bottom, but you know. 
another thing to put little other things in. Let's see. Not from him. We'll go back. That was just a bowl theme from um, another person. I purchased these Donald and Daisy figures. And they're just marked Walt Disney Productions on the bottom. And they're getting ready for summer. I've, the person that, the vendor that had all the totes of items, the, the people must have been Disney people. That's the, I think I've gotten on film. There was their family photo at Disney World. Like, why would you want to get rid of that? <laughs> but, you know, that, that's a question you have to ask a lot of times at flea markets. Why would someone want to get rid of this? So, I got these from him. I also got this pin from him. It's an R for me, for Renee. This would probably look cute on one of the vintage sweaters because um, it has that nice vintage style. $2.99. And for all the things that I bought from him, so I had the duck, the Donald Duck, the pin. Oh, this. I actually have a white one that's similar. This is a nice blue one. For some reason, I'm getting, starting another collection of, of pottery vases. So this will go on my windowsill. I could put real flowers in here or maybe some other other things. So that, Donald and Daisy the pin, and then this, which was just sitting right on top, and I can't believe no one took him. This vintage mache, paper mache bunny nodder. How great is he? You know, he has some damage. Maybe not. But I I've not, I haven't seen one like this. I do have another nodder, but he is great. So the bunny, the vase, the Donald and Daisy, and the pin, um, I paid $4. Worth it. You know, this little guy was worth the, the $4 alone. So he will go into my collection. So from the guy that I bought this small bowl with, full I'm from, I purchased that. A bag with two dolls in it. This pink, pink guy that maybe was out in the sun too long. And then this poor baby that needs some repair. He's lost his legs. So again, I have another small collection of porcelain dolls, and he or she is marked Japan in the back that what else not those we're practicing the alphabet today I bought this A I said it's an aluminum A there's the back it needs to be cleaned it's a little dirty that he gave me the spoon uh, he was going through spoons and, and he comes over and he's like, Alaska? I've never seen a spoon marked Alaska, so you probably can't see it. And I'm like, I've, I've never either. So he's like, here, you take it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so I don't know if any of you know why, you know, if it's from Alaska, if that's just a brand, let me know. And then I also bought this guy, a D. <laughs> it's nice red chippy paint D aluminum what I will do with it I don't know but the price is right it has a great look so I bought that and then I had a heck of a time getting it open let's see if I can <laughs> I got it open there once I know that there's a trick embarrassing. I should have opened it before. Oh, there we go. This oriental fan. So there's the back. And then there's the front. So it has the writing on the side, the script, and then she's looking at herself in the mirror. But it's definitely vintage. It's in great shape. You know, there's no breakages and the creasing. On a hot day like this, it would be good. And it makes that great noise when you shut it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to practice. <laughs> so, all in all, a pretty good day. 
you know, different different things. There were lots of different vendors out there. I didn't get there first thing in the morning, but that doesn't always matter, as you can see. You know, I got there later and the one vendor was just getting there. If I would have gone there early, there's a chance that I may have been like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna go home now. So, you know, getting there early, sure, you might get first dibs on some things, but then getting there early also might mean that you leave early and then you miss out on other things. Um, I also made, a connection with the person that I purchased the bunnies from um, his name is Jimmy and you know I just let him know that if he has any old photos postcards paper that I collect it he actually watches the channel so hi Jimmy if you're watching and you know to let me know when he gets that in because it's great to have a source um, you know for those items and then the vendors usually like it because they know that you know, if they pick something up there's a chance that they already have a buyer for it so it's always fun to make those connections, hear the stories about how people get their items, motorcycle. Um, you know, the flea market is just a fun place to go, shop, talk to people, listen to other people's stories. You know, that's an adventure all in of itself. So I'm gonna wash these bad boys up, maybe make some tea, do a little research, and then get more things done off my to-do list and try and enjoy this nice weather that we're having. So I hope you all enjoy this. Hope you like seeing all my finds and going with me to the flea market. So thank you all again for watching. Hit that like button, comment below. Let me know what you liked from my finds. And perhaps would you like to see me expand to include, you know, when I go to the flea market, what I should look out for that maybe I've overlooked before. I'm always open to new ideas and suggestions, but I still love paper most of all. So thank you all for watching. And until next time, have a great day and see you later.